Hey guys, so today I'm in a really crappy mood. I am feeling like crap. Um, I want to beat the crap out of everyone around me. And so I felt like it was the perfect time to do crap products. You guys are excited because you love crap products. You love my shit. Um, Kisu is going to be in the background of this video. She has a couple crap products to share with you guys herself. And um, even though I think that they're crap for her, she still loves them. So she has been viciously trying to attack me to get over here to these crap products since I started recording. So if you see her trying to lurk by, that's what's going on. Typically, I can tell if something is good or bad just by holding it up to Kisu's nose. Um, dogs love the smell of other dogs. They love the smell of And so she's attracted to this kind of thing. It's only normal. So my first, see what I mean? Do you guys see what I mean? It is by NYX. Sorry NYX, I love you guys, but some of your products are really crappy. And it's the HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. And they actually sent me a couple of their new HD products to review a few months back. And honestly, I've used this foundation a couple times and that was it because it was crap. Like the top has already cracked in half. It's like real cheap, real cheapy packaging. Um, but not only is the color too dark for me, it's just not a good foundation. It's almost like wearing nothing. Like you put it on and it just sort of leaves just like this sticky, nasty after feeling. And you might say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, the thing is, is that it oxidizes on your face throughout the day and you end up looking majorly Oompa Loompa. Or maybe like you have jaundice, so. I don't recommend the NYX HD. Not only that, the NYX HD foundations, in my personal opinion, are super overpriced especially for NYX Cosmetics. I was like, what are you thinking, NYX? Okay, so I actually have two foundations in this crap products video. Um, shocker. It's from MAC, and I know that I'm gonna get a lot of hate because I'm showing another MAC product in my crap products videos, and the MAC Mafia gets really upset when I put anything MAC in my videos. But I'm sorry, girls, MAC can be whack. So this is the MAC Select SPF 15 foundation and my friend gave me one in each color because they broke her out really bad. Like she had a major allergic reaction to these. She puffed up like a little weasel, it was so sad. This is another really stinky ass product. Like I don't know why Max face products are so disgustingly smelly, but they are. You know if you watch my videos that I'm very smell sensitive. Like I'm basically a bloodhound. I was actually reminded to put this nasty foundation in this video last week when the great dismal swamp in Virginia caught on fire and the wind blew it over here to Maryland and it was the most god awful stench. And if you don't know what a swamp smells like when it's burning, it's almost like a chemically smell mixed with burning leaves, mixed with dead ass. I went outside that morning and I was just like, it smells so bad, but it smells so familiar. And that's when I realized it smelled exactly like this freaking nasty MAC foundation. Like, to a T. If you want to know what the great dismal swamp catching on fire smells like, just go buy this. Next crappy item actually came with my uh, dermal roller. If you guys remember the little torture contraption I showed you in my last crap products video. And yes, the company did send me multiple vials of serum to actually pour into my open wounds on my face. Now, the thing that I didn't like about this serum was how bad it burned. And it really burned, almost like a chemical peel or if someone just threw acid into your face, that's sort of what it felt like. I know it has menthol in it, so that probably accounts for some of the acidic burning feeling. Um, but just overall, I didn't even have any open wounds in my face and it was burning my face off. I had to wash it off almost immediately after applying it. Freaking burned. Okay, I can only imagine with all my scratches and scars, I look like I was in a cat fight and then to have to apply this would be awful. So I definitely don't recommend the serum. And like I said, it's really expensive, so don't waste your money. Another product that I thought was really disgusting is the Michael Todd. And this is their Creme Gloss, eh? Creme Gloss. This is what it looks like. The Michael Todd creme gloss or however the heck you say it. I don't even care because it's crap. Actually all the Michael Todd. Um, I have two Michael Todd uh, lip glosses and both of them are really nasty. Um, I can't really comment so much on the pigmentation. I think that that's fine but man it's a freaking smell again. I wish people could just get their products to smell good. Next product it's actually not in itself a crap product. It's more the packaging. This is the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania. This is like the little pigments that they came out with. And I have a ton of these. I've barely used any of them just because of the packaging. It's just not convenient at all. It's really cheapy plastic. Like if I squeeze this too hard, it's going to crack in half. Tina Tannehill. 
kind of be a scary movie. I don't know why I'm always reminding myself of scary movie in these videos. But anyways, if you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below. It has this teeny little hole, and obviously you're not getting a brush down in there, okay? And you're not getting anything down in there, if you know what I mean. Definitely, if you're going to purchase these, you're going to need to get some sort of little empty jar and transfer all of your pigments, be because this is definitely not functional packaging whatsoever. So really sorry about my nails, guys. I figured if I'm doing a crap product video, I might as well just have crap nails. It's a face product, and you guys are going to be shocked, because I actually included this in... I think one of my favorites videos because I was really, really loving it at the time. My subscribers actually like wrote me these comments like, OMG, don't use that. It's so freaking bad. And I was like, well, I love it. Oh, hell no. I should have definitely listened to those girls because this stuff became a nightmare almost as I was typing that message back to them. And it is the Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. And I did love this stuff. I love minty products, especially for my face. It makes you feel all rejuvenated and nice. Um, but let me tell you what. Even though this has salicylic acid in it, which is an acne treatment, this actually gave me acne. And I I have never really had acne in my life. I do have times where I get blemishes and I pick at them and they won't go away. You know, that's just one of my things I do. Um, but the Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser made me break out awful. So back away from the crap. Back away from the crap, Kisu. The really sucky thing about this ice fighting cleanser is that... I mean blemish fighting, ice cleanser, whatever. Um, the really sucky thing about it is that it works for a week or two. It will completely dry your skin out. It'll get rid of all your blemishes. You'll look fantastic. Um, and then by week three, you look like a pizza face. Hair products, another disappointer was the Redken Blonde Glam. And you wouldn't know it just from looking at the bottle because it's pretty much empty. Like there's only this much in it. But I swear it was because it was expensive and I didn't want to waste it. Unless it like makes my hair fall out or it sends me to the hospital, I'm probably going to keep using it. So yes, I did use most of this up, but I hated every minute of it, okay? Kiss who loved every minute of it. <laughs> blonde Glam, obviously I got it because I wanted to keep my blonde really blonde and healthy. Um, but it's just a yellow shampoo, like it's not a toning shampoo, so it's not gonna make your hair more blonde. And the smell of it is grapefruit. I hate grapefruit. Like there is nothing good about grapefruit unless you just love the taste of bitter. Like I feel like grapefruit was created for pregnant ladies that have like really odd cravings. Like I'm wondering if Kisu somehow got pregnant even after being spayed because she's really obsessed with it. Hair will smell really bitter. You might have pregnant ladies running after you in the grocery store. So the next crappy product, Kisu also is loving, and it's the John... Whoa, Nelly. Whoa. Back it on up. You don't see Evie Inu acting this way. You don't see Evie Inu doing this. Kiss who's got some Shiba Inu competition up in the YouTube world. So anyways, this is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Secret Weapon Flawless Finishing Cream. And I got this basically because my hair is freaking fried, as you guys probably know. Look at it. Hello. When you go this blonde, it's fried. Um, and so I was going to use this like for my ends or whatever to sort of just get rid of flyaways and damage. And it sucks. It just really sucks. It's really sticky. Like... After you apply this cream, you definitely have to wash your hands and everything because it's just really sticky and nasty. And it doesn't even get rid of the flyaways. Like, it's just going to make you look like a grease head. So I don't recommend that. Next is a product that I showed you guys that I was originally really excited about. But it turns out it's crap. Um, it's the Rembrandt Deeply White Peroxide Mouthwash. And it took me forever to find these. Like, this was rated the number one mouthwash I don't know if it was on Yahoo. I think where I saw it was Yahoo, and it was a big news report about different mouthwashes and whitening products and which was the best. And this was the top rated. Like, supposedly it got your teeth blindingly white in only a couple weeks. Whoa. Whoa. You're knocking over the crap. Um, so when I finally did find it, after a few months of searching, I went, like, whitening crazy and bought, like, two or three bottles of this stuff. I don't even know why. I don't know. Like, I'm a hoarder or something. You would think I was preparing for the Great Depression. Now I'm stuck with three bottles of corrosive, acidic mouth killer. Oh, seriously, your mouth will burn off from using this. Take a good look at it, people. If you guys have this, please freaking comment. Please tell me what you think of it because... Look, my husband and I, we're no sissies, okay? All right, we can take a shot at Everclear with the best of them. But this stuff, you might as well, ugh. This is like, bull. This is like beyond. This is almost as bad as Ricoloff. 
young viewers, just close your ears because you don't need to know anything about alcohol. But you could remove your nail polish with this stuff. You put it in your mouth, it just sets you on fire. Um, so you're only supposed to swish it around for one minute and then spit it out. I promise you, it will be the worst one minute of your life. And then it says, do not swallow the rinse, spit it out, and then you can't eat or drink for 30 minutes after rinsing. It's pure torture, it really is. And almost always after I spit it out, I would have to just get some water in my mouth because I couldn't stand it, it was burning on fire. So if you live past the torture that it is to swish the stuff in your mouth for a full minute, um, after you spit it out, you will continue to be spitting it out for another good 30 minutes. Um, you think that you spit all of it out the first time, but then after that, you're continuously spitting and spitting and spitting for the entire night. No pun intended. This is getting really disgusting. I'm really sorry. Um, just about the last half an hour of my video is going to be about spit. So if you don't like spit, you know, maybe X out now. I don't think this stuff is good for your mouth. I don't know. Something about this just seems off to me. Like, I don't know what's in here that causes that. Castor oil. I don't know. Mm. Yuck. My next spitty non-favorite is the Crest White Strips. And if you guys watched one of my recent videos when I got the 5 minute whitening system, I talked to you a little bit about my experience with these. Your breath is stank. These are the Premium Plus White Strips. There is nothing premium about them, trust me. Um, and they come in this real nice box. You get a whole crap ton of them. I can't even get it open. They're all awful. And th these are actually expensive. Like, these aren't cheap, in my personal opinion. And you got to put one strip up here, one strip down here, and they're just awful. And like I said in my last video, um, they show people on the Crest White Strips commercials, like, doing everyday things. Like, oh, hey, they're at a party with their Crest White Strips in, like, saying hey to all their friends. They're at work answering telephones. Like, oh, you know, thank you for coming. Their day is not affected at all by the fact that they have Crest White Strips on. And it's very obvious in the commercial that no one is actually wearing them. Because if they were actually wearing Crest White Strips, the commercial would be very disturbing to its audience. Lots of saliva coming out of the sides of their mouth, um, a lot of foaming, frothing. It wouldn't be cute. I'm like a blabbering idiot with these things in. Um, I just, I can't function. Like, mostly I have to sit there like this. So, anyways, I just hate these. If they work for you, good for you. But apparently, I don't have the motor skills to use these. Um, on to the biggest disappointment that I've had probably this entire summer. And I'm sorry to everyone that really loves these and looks forward to them every single month. But they are crap, okay? And they are the birch boxes. This was the first one that I ever got. The Cynthia Rowley birch box. I think it was... June or July, I can't even remember. Um, but everyone was really excited because Cynthia Rowley designed one. Let me just show you guys what's in this fun box of tricks. First of all, it comes in a birch box. It comes with a little card that tells you all about everything in your box in case you don't have eyes that can see. But honestly, I wouldn't even want this for free. I can shine flash, glistening mix, crap. They send you the Purity Facial Cleanser by Philosophy crap. They send you the Ahava Mineral Hand Cream, which unless you want to smell like a gardening grandmother, it's crap. I mean the Zoya Nail Lacquer in Shea, which actually isn't too bad, but it's like a mini sample size, so am I supposed to get that excited over it? No. I was laughing my off watching other gurus videos of their birch box reveal for that month because everyone was so excited about their kind fruit nut bar, almond and apricot bar in my birch box because it was Cynthia Rowley's favorite. Wait, let's let's check our card to see what Cynthia Rowley has to say about her nutty bar. These are my faves. I always have one in my bag just in case Cynthia Rowley. And I'm sorry, but I don't care fruit nutty bars in my bag. I'm going to pay $10 for a freaking birch box. You better not be putting no fruity nut bars in my box. Those were all of my crap products for this month. Um, now Kisu has a couple, and Kisu actually, don't get me wrong, Kisu actually loves these two products. It's me that thinks that they're crap for her because I want her to live. This one is the Wiggly Giggly. Here's what it looks like. And it makes this fun noise. She loves noises. Oh wait. Hear it? Oh yeah, she had a field day with this thing when we first got it. It's like, 
it's hard plastic, like really hard. We probably should have known better. But there's a little squeaker thing on the inside of each one. And she is determined to get to them. She gets so pissed. See? She gets so pissed when something makes a noise. She goes into automatic kill mode. Like she wants to kill it immediately. So she goes for these ends. As you can see right now what she's doing. She can't even control herself. Out of control. You're out of control, mama. Look what she's done to the ends. Awful. And like we found her chewing on stuff and I'm like, Kisu, what are you eating? And I pull this giant ass piece of green plastic out of her mouth, which God knows what it would have done to her insides if I would have let her eat it because they're really, really hard and it creates these really sharp edges. So no, I don't recommend the giggly wiggly for any pets, especially if they're big chewers like Kisu because they can easily swallow this plastic and die. The next product that was crap for Kisu, and I still have foil on it because I only gave her a fourth of the can. Thank God. Innova adult dog food, and this is their wet food in the can. And we actually feed her Innova dry food, and she does great on it. Like, I'm not knocking the brand at all. She loves it, and she does really good. She's over there with the freaking wiggly giggly. Look at her. Kisu, what are you doing, mama? That's a crap product. Get away from it. Come here. Come. Don't bring it with you. Don't bring it with you. That's crap. Come on. Come on. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Sorry, we had to get her away from that deadly toy. Oh, and she's back to it. Um, so this is the Innova adult dog food, and it's just wet food. Ew, can you see in there? Yuck, it really stinks. So I can't wait to throw it away. But I had to show it to you guys because, because this is what we call runs in a can. And when I say runs in a can, I mean your dog will have the worst, most explosive diarrhea you've ever seen in your life for about two to three days after eating some of this canned wet food. Normally her body doesn't react to stuff like that. I mean, she's like a goat. She could eat a tin can and be fine, but she had the worst squirts ever. My husband took her out to go to the bathroom. Get away from that wiggly giggly. Give me that. Give me that dangle. Toy. Sorry about that. Anyways, my husband took her out to go to the bathroom the day after we gave her this for dinner. And he said that he was lucky he wasn't standing one or two inches closer to her ass because the diarrhea would have shot right into him. That's how explosive it was. It just came shooting out like a ribbon dancer or something. Inch closer, he said it would have shot him right in the face. <laughs> Which actually would have been really funny and I almost wanted to give her more the next night just to see if she could shoot it just a little bit closer to daddy. So that concludes my crap products video. I hope that that helps you guys to save some money. Say bye to everybody. Say bye. Don't buy crap. Bye guys.